hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm kat and today's video is going to be all about protein so if you're trying to figure out where protein is or want to know a little bit more about protein just keep watching protein is in your skin your hair and your nails all of that is made up of protein because it's made up of keratin keratin is another word for protein a good amount of protein in your hair will make sure that it's healthy and that your hair is strong there's a couple different reasons why you would have to put protein in your hair for instance if your hair is like feeling limp or not really holding up a curl you would need protein you will also need protein if your hair is lacking elasticity which is like the bounce or spring that you get when you pull a curl down and it bounces back up if it's kind of staying in one place then your hair probably needs protein to improve the elasticity you would also use protein if you're experiencing a moisture overload, which is basically when you have way too much moisture in your hair, you do not have a balance, and your hair feels kind of too soft, it's not holding up a curl, it feels mushy, and it can be weighed down too. A good time to use protein as well is before getting your hair colored. Even though you need protein in your hair sometimes, you don't want to use it too much because you can experience a protein overload. You'll know if you're experiencing a protein overload, if your hair is dry, brittle, getting tangled easily, it's frizzy, it's not holding a curl, it has no definition, it's kind of just like stringy, that's when you would need moisture. That's how you know you have a protein overload and you need moisture. You get protein overloads by using too much protein. For example, if you're using a shampoo and conditioner that have protein and then you use stylers in your hair that have protein after that, that's gonna cause a protein overload. Or if you do a protein treatment and use a shampoo and conditioner that have protein after the protein treatment, you're probably gonna experience a protein overload. If you use too many products that have too much protein in it, you might experience a protein overload as well, especially if your hair is sensitive to protein, and some of our hairs are. You would fix a protein overload by using moisture treatments, using products that do not have protein for a while until your hair gets back to that balance and you feel like it doesn't feel like it's overloaded with protein anymore. I would recommend to use protein every five to eight weeks, depending on if your hair likes it, if your hair doesn't. We don't really have to do protein treatments too often if we're using protein in our wash day products and in our stylers because our hair absorbs protein from those products too. Your hair doesn't only get protein from protein treatments, but some people have hair that does like protein and some people do need those extra protein treatments like if their hair is colored, if they're trying to improve their elasticity or get their hair stronger, then they would need those treatments. But you do not need protein treatments weekly, bi-weekly. Every five to eight weeks is a good time for a protein treatment. You'll know if products have protein because in the ingredients it will literally say a type of protein, soy, rice protein, wheat, keratin, hydrolyzed, all of those words mean that your product has protein in it. I might be leaving some out, but those are just the ones that I personally know. Also products that are repairing or reconstructing will have protein in them too. Tips that I give when people are using protein is do not leave a mask on for more than 20 minutes. 20 minutes is the maximum time for a protein treatment. Don't do protein treatments too often. And don't forget that your hair can get protein from wash day products and stylers. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys gained some knowledge from this. If you have any questions, please comment down below so I can answer them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you.